The Bunyip Musical The Bunyip, also known by the longer title The Enchantment of Fairy Princess Wattle Blossom, was written by Ella Paltzier Campbell Aka Ella Airely. The pantomime was a highly successful musical comedy that toured Australia for a decade within Fuller Brothers Theatre Circuit. The show was produced by Sydney entrepreneur Nat Phillips. The premiere of the show ran for at least 97 performances and was revived several times over the following decade. Music was supplied by a number of Australian stage personalities including Vince Courtney, Herbert de Pinnett, and James Kendes. The play relied heavily on comic stereotypes of the time including a Chinese cook, bumbling Jewish clowns, fierce Aboriginal tribespersons, and a drunken Australian loud all contending with Wattle Blossom, the fairy princess in the original story. A Melbourne National Gallery student, P. Cohen, was enlisted to paint the sets with Australian flowers, namely Wattle and Waraha, on costumes also. The story opens with a bushfire in which all the bush creatures are brought out into the open. Then it deals with the wanderings of Princess Wattle Blossom, who falls into the hands of the bush gnomes, a proud race with a terrible way of doing things. The Lord High Gnome decrees that the princess shall be turned into a bunyip, and this transformation takes place on the stage. The fairy princess is then rescued by the principal boy from the race of bush gnomes. The action of the play involves girls undressing behind an illuminated screen. Musical Numbers Bunyip Slash Words and Music by Herbert de Pinna Wattle Blossom Time in Australia Slash Words and Music by Fred Monument Arranged by Gia Hurdle For You Slash Words and Music by Marsh Little Nilla Nulla Slash Words and Music by Marsh Little I Love You Slash Words and Music by Herbert de Pinna Mean Old Moon Slash Ella Airely Back to Cossisco Slash Words and music by Ella Airely, Joan Slash Words, and music by Marsh Little. Phil's Enlisted Slash Words by R. Boyer and H. DePinna. Music by Herbert DePinna. If Captain Cook Could Come to Life Today Slash Words by Con Morney. Music by Nellie Call and Con Morney. Sunny Mind Slash Words, and music by Herbert DePinna. Down in Australia Slash Words, and music by Marsh Little. Nathan. Sung by Roy Rinnes slash by James Kendes, My Chinny Girl, The Favorite One Step Song slash Words, and Music by Vince Courtney, Gray Hair Gray Eyes slash Words by Nat Phillips, Music by Burt Reed, Safety First slash Words, and Music by Henry T. Hayes, Dancers Drilled by a Child Actor, Mother Warretta slash Words, and Music by Marsh Little, Funyup Waltzes slash R, by Albert Evelyn, Pirate and Pirette slash Lyric by Jean Lennox and Ray Sterling. Music by Leo Edwards. Swinging Along to Henty slash Words and Music by Henry B. Hayes. Ukulele R. By P. P. McGrath using Bashaw's Method. All I Want is a Cottage, Some Roses and You slash by Chaz. K. Harris. Characters. Wattle Blossom, a Fairy Princess. Wattle Blossom's Attendant, Chief Gnome, Joan Principal Girl, Jack Principal Boy, Whistable Boy, Whistable Boy, Squatter Hatfield, Mrs. Wiggins, A Fat Chinese Cook Played by Vince Courtney, Soggy Swagman, Extras and Aboriginal Corroboree, and Bush Sprite Dancers, Arthur A Halfwit, Tower A Lofty Fellow, Comedy Duo Stiffy and Mole, Cast, the cast changed across several venues. For example, in Adelaide the crowd was treated to a boomerang thrower safely tossing weapons above their heads. Nat Phillips producer and Roy Rinne played Stiffy and Mull. Peter Brooks originally played the Swaggy, but was replaced by drag swagman impersonator Nellie Call. Villiers Arnold played the gnome in the Sydney production at the Grand Opera House. Pearl Ladd played the Bunyip at the Sydney performance. Ella Arley, the writer, played Jack the principal boy opposite Queenie Pearl, as Joan the principal female lead Dan Dunbar and Zoe Wink joined the team later. Roy Rene continued the comic character Mohi had developed in vaudeville. Caddy Franks played the transformation into a bunyip. Venues 
1916 Grand Opera House, Sydney, 1917 Princess Theatre, Melbourne, 1917 Majestic Theatre, Adelaide, 1918 Brisbane Empire, 1924 Sydney Hippodrome. Critical Reception The play was embraced with patriotic fervour. A few Australian shillings were granted by the Fuller brothers as a prize to Emil Mercier for her drawing of a bunny. From 1917, the show drew crowded houses. The theme song was adopted by schools in New South Wales and sales of the sheet music were phenomenal. The press was unaffected by a typical Australian workers' dispute between management and two stage hands who objected to the behavior of a backstage colleague equals equals references equals 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 <laughs>